Hey guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. Things are heating up on SmackDown as a WWE Hall of Famer returns to the blue brand for the first time in 20 years and Seth Rollins shows up to confront Roman Reigns. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the 14th January edition of SmackDown, as well as the wildest wrestling news and rumors you need to know, including are The Shield reuniting at the Royal Rumble? A WWE Hall of Famer returns after 20 years? A female star breaks The Rock's record? New name for the Elimination Chamber? And more. The Good The Return of Lita the WWE wisely used a segment to hype WWE Hall of Famer Lita's upcoming appearance in the Royal Rumble. Lita is just too big of a name to casually mention her participation in the Rumble and the WWE used tonight's confrontation with SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte to not only tease Lita winning the match, but to tease a dream match with Charlotte at WrestleMania 38. Now that Lita has appeared, fans may be curious whether current Knockouts Champion Mickie James will make an appearance to hype her Rumble appearance. A Shield Showdown Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins' showdown was everything fans expected as the two former Shield brothers talked trash, with Rollins trying to get into the Universal Champion's head by claiming he'd made him and that his many previous wins over Roman makes things look bleak for the Tribal Chief at the Royal Rumble. Reigns countered cleverly, reminding Rollins that he's in God mode now and that if he wanted to wrestle a Raw megastar, he would have picked Seth's wife. The sizzling segment also saw the Usos try to ambush Rollins, only for the Visionary to elude them. What's particularly interesting about this match is that the WWE is booking both men as heels, but the fans are clearly behind Roman, cheering him on. How much longer will it be before Reigns officially turns babyface, and will the WWE Universe continue to back him when he does? Aaliyah's Dynamite Debut Congratulations to Aliyah for her Dynamite debut on SmackDown, a singles match that not only saw her defeat veteran Natalya, but do so in record fashion. More about that in the news. Congratulations to the WWE for also taking the time to build Aliyah's match up with a pre-match segment that saw Natalya promise to ruin Aliyah's singles debut, only for things to backfire. As always, this debut is no guarantee of her future, but it's difficult to imagine a better start than this. Let's just hope that there's no pies in Aaliyah's SmackDown future. SmackDown does have tag teams Tonight's fatal four-way match was a rare reminder that SmackDown has tag teams besides the Usos in the New Day. Watching Los Lotharios, Jinder Mahal and Shanky, the Viking Raiders, and Cesaro and Mansoor compete for a shot at the SmackDown Tag Team Championship was not only a good match, but a reminder that SmackDown has a tag team division if and when the WWE wants to use it. While it's unlikely fans should expect the Usos to lose the tag team titles anytime soon, at least they have opponents besides the New Day. And with Xavier Woods believed to be out of action for four to six weeks, Jay and Jimmy need fresh foes. Sammy the Stuntman It's time to give the devil his due again as Sami Zayn showed there's no limit to the lengths he'll go to annoy the WWE Universe. Zayn's budding feud with Jackass star Johnny Knoxville, who also happens to be in this year's Royal Rumble, continued as Zayn announced he was going to perform a stupendous stunt on SmackDown. Zayn had a giant ramp he claimed he would jump as two assistants would push him in a shopping cart. After double-checking things and infuriating fans with his stalling, Zayn called things off, angering the fans until Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura showed up to give Zayn his comeuppance. Although the segment was predictable, it was a lot of fun and another example of how good Zayn is at getting under fans' collective skin. The Bad Ricochet Crashes Abandon hope all ye who think Ricochet is getting a push. The latest tweak to Ricochet's character saw no change in Ricochet's fortunes as Sheamus defeated him again. Ricochet's entrance music may have been modified, but the WWE only sees him as a talented performer who can take bump after bump in the ring while making his opponents look good. At this point, the only good thing for Ricochet is that he might get a cut of the profits from his new entrance theme. She's… she's gonna puke! As good as Aaliyah's debut singles match was, WrestleMania is wondering whether Vince McMahon wants to revisit Darren Drozdov's old gimmick from the Attitude Era, that of Puke, a wrestler who could vomit at will. 
This isn't the first time Aliyah has lost her lunch while on live TV, and while nerves can do a lot to anyone, let's hope it's that and not some bizarre way to get her over. A Madcap Move Tonight's match between Madcap Moss and Kofi Kingston was a good way to give Moss time in the ring against a top-tier opponent, but did Moss really need to pin Kingston cleanly? While well, this wasn't a squash, it made no sense to have Moss defeat Kingston without interference or some type of underhanded tactics. Not only did this make Kofi look weak, but it's hard to say if it'll do anything to get Moss over. Madcap's booking as Happy Corbin's partner in crime hasn't featured any strong performances, and unless tonight's win over Sir Kofi is the beginning of a win streak, it was a bad move, especially since Kofi just announced his entry into the Royal Rumble. No more Naomi vs. Sonya The WWE's boring booking for Naomi vs. Sonya Deville is another example of how the WWE drags its feet with storylines, hurting everyone involved. The saga of Sonya abusing her power as an authority figure is actually interesting, but WWE should have booked Deville against Naomi at day one, and there doesn't seem to be any match between the two on the horizon. Why WWE is wasting so much time with non-wrestling segments is puzzling, especially given Naomi and Sonya's average promo abilities. These two would do so much better in the ring, and it's time for WWE to make a match. The Downright Ugly Nothing ugly about tonight's show as the WWE featured some sensational segments, including Lita's return, Aliyah's Dynamite debut, and Seth Rollins' confrontation with Roman Reigns. With the Royal Rumble just two weeks away, the blue brand is doing its best to hype the show and get fans jacked for this premium event. Wild Rumor Did Roman Reigns tease S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion? Topping today's news is a wild rumor that the WWE Universe could see a S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion at this year's Royal Rumble. With the talk of WWE breaching the forbidden door by bringing in Impact star Mickey James for the Royal Rumble, fans are wondering if Jon Moxley might pop in during Seth Rollins' Universal Championship bout against Roman Reigns. The WWE is certainly teasing the possibility, as WWE.com tweeted a video of The Shield along with the message, Believe in The Shield. The WWE Universe is excited because the video shows Moxley with Rollins and Reigns, as opposed to recent footage that aired of The Shield that had Moxley edited out. While it would be wild to see Moxley show up at the Rumble, it's unlikely he'd show up for one appearance unless it's part of an unreported alliance between WWE and AEW. As exciting as this would be, fans have to ask why AEW's business partners would want the company's wrestlers to hype a rival's show unless there's a quid pro quo. There's also the question of whether Moxley would want anything to do with the WWE after expressing his disgust with the company after he left. What do you think? Is The Shield reuniting? Or is the WWE just capitalizing on the fans' nostalgia? John Moxley's Return Confirmed Fans awaiting John Moxley's return take notice, as Game Changer Wrestling recently announced that Moxley will appear at his upcoming The World on GCW 23rd January show at Hammerstein Ballroom. Moxley is scheduled to challenge GCW World Champion 187. Some fans believe it's only a matter of time before Moxley returns to AEW now that he's taking bookings. Tony Khan interested in William Regal? Add Tony Khan to the list of wrestling promoters and officials interested in bringing in the recently released William Regal. While this should be taken as a wild rumor, there's talk that AEW president Tony Khan is interested in hiring Regal. While Impact Wrestling's Tommy Dreamer has spoken about reaching out to Regal, the Khan story needs to be taken with a healthy dose of skepticism until details emerge. Hall of Famer's 20-Year Absence from SmackDown Tonight's SmackDown featured WWE Hall of Famer Lita's return to the blue brand after nearly 20 years. Lita's announcement that she has one last run must have fans excited, as Lita's comeback opens the door for a number of dream matches in the WWE. However, as we're about to see, Lita's WWE return could have turned out very differently. AEW Wanted Lita Lita's WWE return and participation in this year's Women's Royal Rumble has fans buzzing, but a recent report suggests Lita might have returned in 2021, only for WWE's rival AEW. 
Fightful Select is reporting that AEW contacted Lita in 2021 about wrestling against AEW Women's Champion Dr. Britt Baker at All Out, a dream match that would only have added to the highly regarded pay-per-view's reputation. While the talks didn't pan out, Fightful noted that both sides left negotiations on good terms and that both expressed interest in working together down the road. Would you like to see Lita head to AEW? Let us know in the comments below. WWE Superstar Breaks The Rock's Record What a singles debut for SmackDown superstar Aliyah, as the plucky performer defeated Natalya in record fashion, pinning Natalya in a thrilling 3.17 seconds. This pinning performance set a new record, breaking The Rock's previous record of a 4-second win. You may recall the People's Champion pinned the Big Boss Man at 1998's Survivor Series, a record that would stand for over two decades. WWE changing name of Elimination Chamber? Last but not least, is the WWE going to change the name of its Elimination Chamber? The Wrestling Observer Newsletter's Dave Meltzer seems to think it could happen as the Melts recently tweeted, WWE is looking at rebranding the Elimination Chamber, the WrestleMania Chamber. Not official until it's announced. Diamond Dave also tweeted another name. The latest proposed name change for the Saudi pay-per-view is the annual Elimination Chamber. Wrestling News' Paul Davis had an interesting take on why WWE might be changing the show's name. It looked like perhaps WWE was moving away from the Elimination Chamber name because of the negative connotations the name has in some parts of the world. In WrestleMania's opinion, the WWE should keep the annual Elimination Chamber name for its annual, or in last year's case, seemingly monthly release of talents. What do you think of these name changes? Well guys, there you have it, WrestleMania's look at the 14th January edition of SmackDown, including the good, the bad, and the ugly, as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know in wrestling. Be sure to leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time for some more wrestling content.